go ahead and utilize that by sending 20 in a row without worrying it. So that's the whole idea that's going to happen. But essentially, 5% utilization is happening, and that's why we'll look at the next thing. If we can send up to 15 frames without worrying about the acknowledgments, then we can utilize the channel much better. Okay? So that's the next one where 15 frames are sent, and then we go ahead and use 75%. But of course, now we have to have a mechanism where we are going to go ahead and look for acknowledgement for each of those frames, or the sender side may go ahead and say, okay, I've received these, send me the next one or so. But uh, uh, something has to be worked out for handling more, right? So that's the next solution. That's called go back and protocol. What it does is it's got a modulo to the 2 to the M, and it's going to go ahead and check the number of frames that are coming through for uh, the situation. Okay? So now we'll have to have more sophistication. What we will need is a, a situation where we will have a window on the sender side because we are sending a lot of frames, right? So if we are sending seven frames, then we will have this kind of a thing. Actually, we are sending the size here would have to be 2 to the m minus 1 because if we are sending uh, those many frames, it's going to be starting counting with a zero. So zero to 14 for 15 frames, okay? So there is going to be something that indicates the first frame, something that indicates uh, where we are now. We have sent one, two, three, four, uh, all the way up to six frames. Now we are sending the next one, so we have to keep track of that, and that is a sliding window. As you keep saying, okay, the acknowledgments have been received for zero, one, two, I send my SF, move my SF and say, okay, 